Sponsored by my fansly. I'm in salad and I saw Midsommar. It is directed by Ari Aster and it stars Florence Pugh. Florence Pug? Florence Pugh. Plus a bunch of different actors and actresses. There's a whole lot of extras in this movie too. The first time I saw this movie, I was not expecting anything. I was just like, oh, it's just, it's just a... It's a nice little movie. The only promos that I've seen uh, are the flower crown. I was like, oh, flowers. I like flowers. What could possibly happen in this movie that involves flowers? So I was like, oh, big hype. But it was not really expecting for any of the movie to go in the direction in which it did. So the movie starts. Uh, we start with Danny. She has a sister that won't talk to her. She's emailed her four times. She's also calling upon her boyfriend. Hey, boyfriend, please. Danny's not saying anything. Please. The boyfriend is like, uh, she's just using this to get attention. And honestly, I would have been like, uh, how about you chill out because there's a real, there's a real threat. Here. She's not replying to anything that I'm saying. The last message that she sent me is goodbye, but Danny fails to communicate any of this It just lets the boyfriend talk her down. She's like, oh, she's doing it for attention And he's like, she's like, oh, yeah, you're probably, you're probably right But the boyfriend doesn't even want to be with her like at all. He thinks she's annoying. It's too clingy and whatnot Of course she is because she, uh, she, it's been four years, she keeps g uh, dragging him down with a bunch of issues and whatnot. So, you know, she feels, she feels his uh, not comfortableness with her openness. But she also needs someone to be there, too. I mean, yeah, I get it. I, I get it on both sides. I understand both sides. Uh, but actually, her sister committed a murder-suicide, got her parents, too, with the, the carbon dioxide filling in with the house, uh, the, into the house. You put a whole tape, tape, tape. <sighs> yummy, yummy carbon dioxide. Give me that yum, yum. Or is it carbon monoxide? I think it's carbon monoxide. So yeah, she commits suicide, and Danny's distraught. She's crying. She has to have her boyfriend come and help take care of the strategy. And now the boyfriend can't break up with her. Uh-oh. Uh, so she's sad. So, so sad. But the boyfriend goes to a party. Hey, I'm going to a party. And also, the girlfriend is like, uh, just let me join. Boyfriend, hesitant, lets them join the party. Then there they figure out, they find out, oh, you're going to Sweden? Uh, and boyfriend after an argument is like, fine, I'll let you go to Sweden too. And also the friend group's like, mm-hmm, okay, yeah. Th it feels like they're barely tolerating her because they don't like her that much because the boyfriend doesn't like her that much. But there's the Sweden guy, the Swedish guy, Pele, Pene, Peye, Peter, P, 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 P starts with the P, Pele, bleh, P, the P, the P name. Uh, he's like, I sympathize with you. Like, I understand what it's like. Like, I've had bad experiences too. She's sad about it. She goes into the bathroom to cry. And I like this cut because the cut goes like, oh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. So the cut is, goes over the door frame and it twists. And then it shows you that, oh, we're at an airplane now. I'm like, good cut. They're going to Sweden. They arrive at Sweden. What happens in Sweden? So they go to this commune, right? First things first, they get given mushrooms. She has a bad trip because all she can think about are her dead family members. Most drugs, you get stuck into a thought loop. And she's stuck in a thought loop of her deceased family. And I'm like, okay, maybe you shouldn't have, uh, Taking the mushrooms. She seems a little better after the fact. She's like, okay, well, whatever. She's meeting everyone. Everyone's like, oh, hello, hello, I love you, I love you, hello. They're explaining all the seasons to her. There's also these uh, these cool little drawings 
Like there's one that's like, it's showing, um, uh, making soup. But you gotta cut the pubic hair and bleed into it, into the soup. And then that person will fall in love you with you forever. And I'm like, what is, what? What? What is going on here? That doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, get to the commune. And there's, there's a whole ceremony, whole festival, whole the feasting. Big old feast. They're all eating. Big old feasting. You know, I would love to be at a feast like that, honestly. Even if it requires uh, the elders to jump off a cliff, one of them doesn't die. It's just in pain. And then, oh, you're in pain? Bludgeon. Now you're dead. <laughs> of course, Danny's uh, newly, newly has to confront the idea of death is now being constantly surrounded by death. So of course she's like, no, no, I don't like that at all. That's not a good thing at all. No way. Please do not do that. I do not like the dying. It's explained to her that, hey, actually people at 72 are, have a great honor. They feel honored to die at 72 because it's the seasons thing. There's also a big old uh, shared living space from like zero to 18 uh, winter. That's the spring. That's uh, zero to 18 spring, 18 to 36 is summer. 36 to 52 is fall when you're working. I feel like you should be working uh, from 36 to 52 or from 18 to 52, but that's just, uh, those are different values than what they hold. Uh, but they, them from 52 to 72, the number, whatever, uh, then that's winter. And then 72, they get to die. Love it. Awesome sauce. I personally would like to live longer than 72, but that's probably more years of pain for me than if they were to just die now, you know, stuff like that. So, uh, fun things, stuff occurs, such as there's this whole, uh, there's this whole standing competition. Well, it's more like dancing. You gotta constantly dance. Danny's like, I'm just gonna dance my heart away because I don't, I'm not living for anyone anymore. Oh no! I'm just dancing, I'm just dancing, dancing the night away. Uh, up to the point where she gets crowned the flower crown. How awesome. I love it. During all these festivities, it's barely night, but when it is night, you got people uh, peeing on trees that are sacred and getting murdered for that. Cause they came with like a whole group and the whole group gets like sacrificed one by one because they're the worst people. Yeah, like peeing on sacred trees, or just like trying to take pictures. Like there's a guy who's like trying to take a picture. He's told explicitly not to, but he's gonna take a picture of this, uh, these super sacred texts and gets bludgeoned for it. Kapow, that's bad. You shouldn't have done that. No way. And then even more fun stuff occurs, more uh, murder, death, kill happens. But also Christian is, oh, that's his name. That's the boyfriend's name, Christian. He's like, he's offered to sleep with some of the commune. Cause the commune is like, oh, we need, we need, uh, we need some new fresh genetic material. And you are prime for new fresh genetic material. Why don't you have some babies with this lady over here? Of course, I mean, they, he does, he does have sex with her. But Danny walks in, Danny's distraught, super sad. Oh no, so sad, no, no! And also the entire commune does that too, the ladies at least. Like while she's like, no! They're like also like, no! Like that, just exactly like that. You know what's also exactly like that? They say exactly in the movie, you gotta like and subscribe this video. So go do it, share it around. Exactly like they say in the movie. So she's wailing her eyes out. She eventually gets over the whole thing, but then she figures, she finds out of a, of a thing that happens. Hey, person, 
you're a mermaid queen now, so you shall not be sacrificed, but there has to be five people, well, nine people sacrificed, four from the outside, four, four th from the commune, and one gets to be chosen by you. And of course, she's like, oh, okay, uh, I'm gonna think real hard, Christian. Sacrifice Christian. He cheated on me, which is no good. Even though she had no full contacts whatsoever, just, just, still, I don't like him. He's gotta go. And I really like this character development because it shows, well, she is dependent on him at the, in the beginning, but at the end, she's like, nope, nope, I don't need you. I don't need you even alive anymore. Uh, so, he gets sent to be stu uh, stuffed in a bear. He's in a bear costume, and then he gets burned alive with a bunch of other commune members, and the entire commune is like wailing, like eh, while everybody else is wailing in pain. And I find that weird, because they're not feeling the pain, they're just kind of crying out for these people. Uh, oh boy, but though the crying, I, I find the crying a little bit much, but it's, it's whatever, I guess. If it, if it sim helps them sympathize with the pain, makes it go away, makes them feel better, then I'm all for it. But it also makes Danny feel better, because she's like, like, uh, then she slowly smiles, like, mm, yeah, all of my friends are dead, and I feel great here, awesome! I'm the May Queen now, baby! And that's how the movie ends. Oh man, this movie's such a trip because it is a horror movie that takes place almost entirely during the day. There's a lot of weird, creepy things that everyone says. Daddy's like, what is going on here? But it's also like, you don't go, you don't get into later the very murdery, um, cultish, very cult-like following uh, that this commune is until towards the end when every, everything's starts burning down. Everything just is, uh, by everything, I mean the one thing. It's, it's, it's a cult. They gotta sacrifice people for their cult. I mean, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice, well-oiled commune, though. I mean, if you gotta sacrifice a few people for the rest of the group, uh, I, as long as I'm not being sacrificed, I think that's good. If the commune, okay, this only happens every 90 years, okay? So only nine people are being sacrificed every 90 years? That sounds like a great thing. It's not like the Hunger Games. It's not like any other movie where they sacrifice people every day. It's not like one of those movies. This is only 90, okay, this is one body per 10 years. That's such a great ratio for a perfect society. I mean, I, I'll take it, honestly. Uh, other than that, I really like the colors are popping. Oh, I love the set designs. I love the transitions. Uh, the sets are awesome, especially walking into the commu commune. You get this whole circle, and uh, it's like a perfect circle, perfect circle arch and you get the wood coming out of it. And I'm like, awesome, how did they build that? That looks really cool. I want that for my house. I'm gonna replace my front door with that little circle thing. That's, that's what I'm gonna do. I like that so much. Other than that, the other, the, there's a lot of cool set pieces. Oh yeah, the awesome uh, cloaks that they're wearing too. Well, not cloaks, but it's, uh, I forgot what it's called exactly, but it's described as a little girlish but I still like them. I really like this movie, so I gotta give this movie a solid 8.5 out of 10. If you like that content, go to my Patreon at patreon.com slash Presents for $3 a month. You get some daily vlogs plus some extended mint salad saws. Also $20 a month, you get to request one movie per one month. How cool is that? Get yourself on the review requests list today. Also, also, if you want to see me pose in this or not in this, go check out my fansly.com slash titsman salad. Until next time, I'm in salad saw. I'll see y'all later on my salad croutons and bacon bits. <laughs>